You know, we wanted to give you some simple ideas and tips on making trellises because so many things in a garden, mm -hmm. vine, and whether you're talking about vegetables or some, you know, just some beautiful oh, wow. flowering stuff, you really want to make some nice uh, trellises. So here we have an idea with bamboo. Right, you know, I just found these in my shed, and so I just took them together and I found it a huge twist tie and just gathered them at the top and I'll just drive them into the ground for some more support. I can use this for peas or beans or even ornamental vines for the summertime. And it's really very simple to do. You just get you three go. things, and it doesn't have to be bamboo. You can use pieces of iron, you can use small pieces of wood, anything sure. that you might have laying around. You just take some stretch tape and you tie them up. And then all you do is just spread them out. And it's just that simple. That is good. Well, you know, we all have tomato cages. This is a great square one. You don't have to just use them for tomatoes. We've used these for peas, and what's a great idea is to plant the peas on the inside, and then they'll wind their way up. You don't plant the peas on the outside because if you need to hoe around it or weed around it, you can actually mm -hmm. take the plants out. So this way, the plants are protected on the inside of the trellis. Here's another great idea that's very cost effective for the garden. It's just trellises made with PVC. You get some PVC, you get some uh, T connectors and some corners. The great thing about this idea is you can cut them to any height you want, any width you want, and look at that, they still move. So in the winter time, if you're not using them, just fold them Perfect. up, put them in the, the garage or in your shed, and then you string them with just some simple string or twine or even hemp and it works great. And you can make different sizes, Judy. Yeah, look at this one. It's just a shorter version of yours. It's just for some cucumbers that aren't gonna get as tall as the beans. Mm -hmm. So it's really effective that way. Now we've got one more thing mm -hmm. we wanna show you. Let's go to another place in the garden. William, this is a great idea if you have an existing fence. These are fence posts that are already in for this really long fence trellis system. And all we did was put some eye hooks in here and they're stainless or they're galvanized so they're not going to rust. And you know, all we did here was use some fishing wire. Now some people don't want to use fishing wire because they say it doesn't biodegrade. That's fine. You can still use twine or string or hemp again just to string it up and then it gives your vines a really great place to grow. You know, everybody is looking to add some verticality into their garden. These are four simple ways to make trellises to make your garden more beautiful.